Education is a crucial part in a growing child's life. It has even been said that education is the gateway to success. But now in this 21st century, our schools are failing to prepare students for the world beyond. That's why we're involved in a new Common Core Standard. Basically what that is, is it's taking the old ways of learning, which is the textbooks and the worksheets, and combining that with a new invigorating technology-based style of learning that stresses collaboration and teamwork. And so by doing this, we're not only setting kids up for college, but ensuring that they will be successful in the world beyond. Now, the introduction of an all-new curriculum may raise a few questions, like what does Common Core even mean? How will these changes benefit my child? And how have teachers prepared for this change in the classroom? So we sent a camera crew out and asked these questions ourselves. A curriculum that's going to be common throughout all schools and all states that have adopted it. Um, that way if we have students that move into our school and then they move out at any point through the year, they can still pick up right where they left off. There's always that common thread going on. The reason we're changing it is to make us more unified as far as standards go nationwide. So it's just something that's going to make it a lot easier that between the states we're all kind of working on the same thing. The students will get the same advantage as they would get if they were in another state. We really had some aha moments when we said, you know, this is kind of what Whitfield County already believes about education. Uh, a lot of the things that they're saying, we were like, yeah, we believe that. We're already doing that. So honestly, I feel like educators in Whitfield County are almost a little better off because some of the things we're already prepared for. So we've had meetings all through the year. Our district has had two or three informational meetings where we've gotten the math department together and the math departments of each school together to make sure we're all on the same page. We need to model as principals, as assistant principals, as teachers, we need to model for students that we, we do learn every day and that if we work together, we can do even greater work than you can do alone. Across all subject areas, we're going to combine those with literacy. So you're going to have reading and math, reading and science, and writing all across all subject areas. We're going to focus more on the process and why you do something, and to be able to explain why you do something than just actually being able to do something. We want the student to think through it. Why, when you add four and two together, it gives you six? The more you think about it, the more you process it, the more you remember, the more you understand. I feel like I'm ready to go with it. And a lot of the things that we've taught in the past, our, Georgia did a good job of their uh, kind of aligning their standards before the Common Core was even implemented. So I feel like a lot of the things I've, you know, I feel prepared for, and the things that are brand new to me, um, I feel like I've gotten proper training training in. The students of this generation are information seekers and their information is at their fingertips so we have to change as they change and education needs to evolve and I think that's where the facilitation comes in. The change in seeing ourselves as the keeper of all the knowledge and we're imparting that knowledge onto the students um, as opposed to we're facilitators, we're like coaches, we give them some information and we kind of put them out there and see what they can do with it and a lot of times they're able to do more with it than what we give them. So it's more of a facilitator role and a coaching role than you sit, I'm going to give you all the information and you can't get anything else except what I give you. It's having the high expectations, it's giving them the support that they need so each, each student would have that support that they need to get to where they need to go and then finally just a way for them to show that. We give them technology so they can get on the internet and they can research stuff. It goes back to them putting in the effort, the, the students getting in there and looking for an answer, then the teacher just giving them an answer. If they can teach somebody else the information, I think that's rigorous. Um, not just recalling information back to me, but if they can take their information and teach it to another group, a friend or a tribe, then to me, that's rigorous. Remember to visit our website for any further questions and contact your school if you have any concerns. This is just another way Whitfield County is building upon your child's education and continuing a tradition of excellence.